Hey right, guys, back with another video. This video is gonna be about my reaction to the pink tape. I just got done with my little mini live stream. I kind of started it late, but you know, I was like, hey, better than nothing. Cause I was just like, oh shoot, let me try to figure this out on my phone and you know, things like that. But I think the album was pretty good. I mean, it started off very hyped and you were kind of questioning like, where was, what direction is it gonna like go to? I think the songs were pretty much like just him like letting himself know like he could like rap off any beat because he started off all hype, bloody, bl uh, flooded the face. Then Suicide Doors was like, okay. Then A, uh, A could have been better. I think Travis Scott didn't really want to show off all his skills on that song. He was doing a lot of the auto, he was kind of messing around with the auto tune a lot. So I thought that was different, but it's not the typical Travis Scott you would kind of get because literally when he's on the song, he tries to eat it up. But I think he's trying to save his energy for his album. So I'm sure his album's gonna have rock influence as well, cause him and Lil Uzi Vert make interesting songs. You know, that's that's the song I heard in a while with, with Lil Uzi and Travis Scott, cause in the past I I would Lil Uzi would collab with other guys, like he collab with Future people like that. And then the next next song, Crush Him, was just boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? He goes, yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah, so he went crazy on that one. His other songs he went pretty crazy on as well. I like how um, he mixed it up a little bit with a da 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 dee da 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 dee. He kind of me messed with the words on Endless Fashion. I was very creative on that one, as well as uh, Nakamura. That was an interesting song as well. A lot of uh, what's called um, diversity on this project. Uh, Fire Alarm as well. A lot of hype. That's a lot of hype on that one. CS as well. And Werewolf, that was the one with the, the rock sound. I thought that was interesting as well. But yeah, we can skim through the last seven because I kind of get where his direction's at with this project. He gets straight to the point, you know what I mean? And just jumps around a little bit to be very creative. But other than that, I think the album was scaled a 1 to 10. I would give it a different opinion compared to my live stream. I'll give it about like a about a 8 or, or 10. I think it could be a little bit better, but he kind of you know, like jumped to the point and just went off on each song. And he kind of like just let people know like, you know, what were his thoughts and feelings about what he's going through, whatever situation he's going through personally. I think he just wanted to put it out on a project, you know what I mean? Even if it's about messing with some girl, ladies or whatever, he just kept it like to the point, just like, okay, this is what I'm going through. This is how I feel. You know what I mean? Just like what he's letting us know about how he feels alone on All Alone. You know what I mean? Very, you know, very different compared to his, his uh, last projects. But this project, he definitely was just kind of letting his fan, people know like, this is the type of music you guys want. I got you. Just like what he said on I Just Want to Rock. He's like, this is what you want. So he knows his fans like that rage, rave, or whatever you want to call it, music. Music's going to get you out of your seat, go crazy. So, you know what I mean? But other than that, though, like I said, this project was straight to the point. It started off all hype, then got some songs I was a little like, okay, where is it going to go? Is it going to go this way or that way? So it was all a surprise project, but 26 songs is crazy. Like, Let's be honest, he could have shut he could have cut it down a little bit, but his friend his fans are definitely a hardcore fan base, so he was trying to surprise his fans, let's be honest, by the end of the day. There's a reason why the end songs are called bonus tracks. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six says bonus tracks. So but other than that though, I didn't want to go all the way to twenty six. I'm like I could listen to the last seven like later on today, you know, before work or whatever. So but I'm just glad I was able to knock out nineteen songs. I mean, you gotta give me a pat on the back for that. For a guy that works two jobs, so Make sure to go subscribe, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Thank you guys for all the love and support. You know, everybody does, seriously. I know what you guys really like is the popular stuff. So, you know, my expectation on Little Uzi Vert album, The Pink Tape, has 254 views in two, in two days because today's Friday. So I'm very shocked right now because now I know what you guys like. Same thing with Travis Scott. Utopia has 120 uh, views in three days. So... I'm just very stoked and I'm excited for what the future holds for my channel because now you guys, I now I know what you guys like. It's just keeping the consistency, keeping the videos coming, and that's it, you know, and then putting the right hashtags in. But I think I got it now. It's just staying consistent, you know. I hope that I could come up with the best videos as possible so you guys could uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm just being hungry for everything I'm trying to accomplish in life right now. When, even when it comes to recording my music, I want to be hungry for that. The music that is going to open up people's eyes and feel free, feel awesome, feel like there's nothing bad happening, you know, to themselves. It's like make it super like powerful when it comes to just music that you guys really like and music that I like and I miss. 
which is positivity pop, you know, dance music. I'm not trying to do like hip hop like I used to. So just get ready for that transition. I'm sure you guys already know what dance, dance forever. I'm trying to let you guys know how I truly uh, feel. You know what I mean? I just want to like come out with music that's going to like take you out of your misery reality. So hopefully you guys can support me on that. I think I'm doing the right thing with it because dance, dance forever does have a lot of views. So the views don't lie. I mean, it has 158 views. So I'm impressed. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just trying to um, be very creative and different with all my stuff from here on out. And I just want you guys to just support it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, at me as a hip hop artist, I don't really look at it, like it, especially when I shave. I feel like a pop artist, like a like a, in a genre, like a Khaled or like a weekend. You know, I feel like I'm in that category as of now. But, you know, I don't got to be like them. I just got to be myself. But at the same time, I know a music that people like, you know, and I like they like music that's going to get them to dance off their feet without them worrying about things, you know, because I know our world is an interesting place right now. There's always negative and, you know, just a lot of everything, you know, and I'm, I'm just praying for you guys each and every day, you know, for safety, protection and keeping that nice, soft uh, positivity in your mind when you guys are going out to these places and meeting people because you just never know. You know, what I mean, they say the humble ones are the ones that get the opportunity you know what I mean? At times, especially when they know that they know that someone out there is obviously similar to them that's doing the same stuff. So everyone's competing with each other out of love with me. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to create the videos that you guys want. And I know it's working. So, you know, subscribe, guys. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me let me know if you have any recommendations as well, because that would be awesome. You know what I mean? For a guy that's been on YouTube since 2011, that's hoping and praying for more subscribers because... I've been on YouTube since I was a kid, and now I'm 22, going on 23, so I'm just, like, thinking ahead, like, hey, what's the videos you guys want me to do? Any recommendations, leave it down below. If you guys like my videos, don't forget to cash at me if you want. That's $2, whatever. Dollar sign, Victor, Paul Kemp. That's V-I-C-T-O-R-P-A-U-L-K-E-M-P. And that's a dollar sign before, so dollar sign, Victor, V-I-C-T-O-R, Paul, P-A-U-L, all together. K-E-M-P, Victor Paul Kemp. Let me know what you guys think, you know what I mean, for some love and support, a little charity on my channel. It always helps because I haven't got monetization um, set up for a 1,000 yet because I don't have a 1,000 subscribers. So whatever whatever you guys give to help on my channel, that would be awesome because I got a lot of things in mind that I'm trying to do um, in terms of music and stuff. So just get ready, guys. Watch this journey unfold. And like you already know to do, subscribe, like, share, comment. I can't wait for the future, guys. I can't wait for everything that I'm trying to do as now. And I hope, you know, you guys stay up to date because, you know, time is going. All we're doing is just producing. That's it. You know, doing our the stuff that we always want to do. And that's kind of what I'm boiling down to. So just, just get ready, guys. You know, sit still, sit tight, watch my journey unfold. You know, enjoy um, all the content, things like that. You know what I mean? So that's it, guys. I think I um, definitely nailed it in the coffin. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Peace.